welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. Tonight we're going to make a banana walnut cake with pudding, banana pudding in the center and bananas and whipped cream. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our batter and we're going to need a one half, a half a cup of butter, uh, one cup sugar, two eggs, one fourth cup flour self-rising, a half a cup of milk, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract which is banana extract okay that's what we're gonna need you add the the banana liquid to the milk all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cream together the sugar first and the butter and this is at room temperature so we're gonna start that off first and we're gonna put it in our blender or mixer on low just to get it started a little bit and then we're going to add our sugar and we're going to cream that, okay? And it's going to continue until it becomes really nice and creamy. So no you should just looking at it and we'll be right back. That's creamed butter and sugar right here. It's all as one, okay? Now, <clears throat> you're going to get your banana, <clears throat> peel it and mash it like so and this is a ripe banana now the ones that you buy that are real pretty and yellow that's not really ripe this is a ripe banana that when they get like this this coloring and a lot of people don't like them but that's when they become more sweeter so that's what we're using okay so we're going to put in our banana and we're going to cream that off a little bit before we put in our eggs because we're going to put them in one at a time and cream this together. So you say sugar and uh, butter and the banana and then we're going to get our eggs and I'm going to put one at a time in here and I'm going to cream that together. Okay? I want it well mixed. Alright, and what we're going to do with our flour is we're going to alternate flour, milk, milk, you know, water, uh, both, keep alternating it and ending up with just the flour mixture in there. So we'll that right going, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, flour, and we're going to add three tablespoons, okay, and then I'm going to get my milk. And I'm going to add a little bit. Okay, that's the way you alternate. Is flour, milk, flour, milk. Until our batter comes together and we get rid of all the flour. So I'm going to continue doing this and getting all my ingredients in and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, I uh, finished mixing. I'm just mixing just a little bit with the spoon just to get some things together here. All right, now I'm going to mix in the walnuts. That's a cup of walnuts. And we're going to mix it all good. I got my 8 inch uh, pie pan uh, all ready. And this will probably make two cakes. So you know, 8 inch. All right, now. I'm going to pour half of this batter in the pan and bake it at 350, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It all depends on your oven. I keep telling you guys that, so you should know. But the cake will be ready when it pulls away from the side of the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some in my pan. Okay, guys, and we're back. And I just took out my uh, mixing bowl and the whisk that goes with it out of the freezer because I wanted it really chilled. And I'm going to go ahead and make our whipped cream. So we're going to add all of our whipped cream that's um, a half a pint. That's all we need for our cake. And we have our cake already cooling. So we're going to start to whip our, cake, our uh, cream here. And as soon as it gets a little bit um, bubbly, I'm going to add two tablespoons of powdered sugar to stabilize it and then put it on high. Okay? to make the whipped cream. So, maybe I need to go a little one more speed over. Okay. So it's all bubbly in there. And I want to 
add two teaspoon, two tablespoons of uh, powdered sugar. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on high. And I'm going to leave it, go ahead and start the whipped cream. So we'll be back in a minute. Now that is stiff whipped cream here. And that's what we wanted. So we're going to take it off. And it does work better when your bowl is chilled and your whisk is chilled, okay? So we're going to take that away. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our cake, our first layer. And we got some uh, banana pudding here as well. So we're going to take our banana pudding. And we're going to pack that on there. And I just followed the instructions on the box the way that it was supposed to be made. You want to pack that in there. It's okay if it oozes out a little bit. That's fine. We're going to put our other layer on top of it. So I'm going to continue to do this. And then I'm going to put a layer of whipped cream on that one. So I'm almost there. Okay. Like I said, you don't want to really um, make it nice and smooth. That's not what we're after. And then we're just going to lay this one on top. Make sure your cake is nice and uh, cold. You don't want anything melting. Okay. And we're going to spread that out. more. Okay, that's a heavy duty cake guys. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get our other layer, which I have here. This is also cooled. Pick it up. We're going to lay it on top. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our rest of our whipped cream. We're just going to Place it on the top and smooth it out. For this cake, this one pint is perfect. All right, we don't want it, like I said, even or anything. It's gonna do a rough uh, frosting, like so. We'll clean all that up in a minute. Next batch here. Then we're gonna pull it. This is the way. Take my bowl off. Get the rest of the cream. Fill in our gap. And that is a banana whipped cream cake. Banana walnut whipped cream because I have the walnuts in it. Now if you want, you could put bananas on it. But we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it like that. And we're going to go ahead and fix our coffee. And that is our dessert. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for coming into the Gypsy Food Network. Um, God bless all the subscribers and all of the friends until we meet again.